What I'm going to share with you now is the mechanics of a ventriloquist figure. Many figures have a lot of different movements, including Eddie here, who has raising eyebrows, winkers, blinkers, moving mouth, and moving eyes. What I want to do is I want to show you different figures with different animations. We're going to look inside their head and see what makes them tick. Huh? We're going to see what makes you tick. Well, good luck. We'll be right back. We're going to take a look at inside the head of all the controls that make this guy work. Before we go inside the head, I'm going to show you all the different levers that work the animations. First we have the mouth lever here. The mouth, when I pull the trigger, causes the mouth to open. This lever here causes the eyes to go side to side. I push up, he looks to the right. I pull down, he looks to the left. We have some levers here, three in a row. The back one is for the eyebrows. The other two are for the winkers. Pull them together and he blinks. One at a time, he blinks. So you've seen the outside of the head. Let's take a look on what's going on inside. It's not too scary. Here we go. Now from the inside, you see a lot of different mechanics. From the moving mouth lever, to the side to side, eyes moving side to side. You'll see the two springs in there. That's for the self-centering eyes. I do not have those connected. This lever here works the eyebrows. Here's a winker, another winker, and then they both together work for blinking. Well, you see all the different movements that Eddie has. Are they necessary? Well, not exactly. I also use another character, a Chinese character in my act named Facetious. Facetious only has two movements, moving mouth and moving eyebrows. The neat thing about it is when all these animations together work, the figure looks alive. He looks like he's a real person. The neat thing is, even with less animation, you can still achieve the same, same result. For instance, Charlie McCarthy only had a moving mouth, but he looked like he was just alive as anything. Let me take you uh, behind the scenes of what Facetious's mechanics look like. Here we have Facetious. Facetious just has a moving mouth with a lever to move the mouth, and another lever that I press down and the eyebrows go up. These are the only two mechanics in this whole figure. Yet when I'm performing with him, Facetious looks like he's moving a lot more than just his mouth and his eyebrows. But let's take a look inside. The inside of Facetious' head has the two movements, the moving mouth, string going over the pulley, and the other one is the raising eyebrows. These are the only two mechanics inside this figure. Well, Facetious only has the two movements, the moving mouth and the raising eyebrows. However, when he starts to talk and interact with the audience or myself, he becomes quite alive just with those two movements. <laughs> Look out into the uh, camera there. Hello! <laughs> oh, look at them up there. They are looking at me. <laughs> yeah, they're looking at you, all right. Oh, am I sexy? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you... you, you um, no. <laughs> Anyhow, as you can see, just those two little movements, the eyebrows and the mouth, he still looks quite alive. So sometimes you don't need all the fancy movements to get the expressions out there. Sometimes just a hand movement, a body movement, a head movement will give you the same expressions as all the different mechanics as in Eddie. So you don't have to have all the mechanics, the bells and whistles, even though they're fun, they're not necessary. Huh? They're not necessary. What do you mean they're not necessary? Well, you don't have to have blinking eyes. No? No. What I do when I gotta blink? Well, Facetious doesn't have to blink. What do you mean I don't blink? Oh, be, just be quiet. Oh, I don't like that guy. Leave him alone, all right? Listen, before we get into a big fight between these two guys, I hope you enjoyed learning about mechanics, and thanks for watching. You dirty no good. All right, enough.